how you doing today? It's your girl, Miss Debs, coming from my kitchen here in Orange, New Jersey. Deborah's Delicious Dishes. What's up? What's up? What's up? You're so welcome. Give an honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because without him, there could be no me, there could be no you, there could be no us. I'm so ever grateful for him. Guys, I'm starting off this video a little different, right? I try to keep it in the same avenue, but I turn a little bit sometime. Now, tonight, I just want to let you know a little about me. I want to thank you, first of all, for sharing my world and my crazy life with me. And I just want to let you know that it's very appreciative. Um, my name is Deborah, as you guys know. I'm an Aquarius. Um, I'm the child of seven, seven children. Um, three of my siblings are no longer here. My mom, God bless her, she was the best woman and mother ever. She was a workaholic. Um, she she stood on her own two feet, and that's the way I am, too. I never try to march with someone else. I mean, like, I have respect for people, whatever you want to be, whatever you want to do in life, whatever your sexual preference, whatever your religion is. I'm not here to judge. I mean, who am I to judge somebody else? I love all. And you know, a lot of people say that, but do they mean it? Yes, I love all because I'm just one among many. You know, we all come on this earth. I don't mean to sound negative, but we're all going to leave. So why not, while you're here, shine some light on someone, right? You never know that kind word you say or that kind gesture. How far it might go in someone else's mind. You never know what's going on up here with people, folks. So I always feel like, no, I'm not Mother Teresa. I'm not St. Gerard. I'm not God. I'm not an angel. But I'm an angel in the making, right? Because I've been through so much in my life, and I feel it's only right that I give some of that gratitude and appreciation that I have for life and for God for giving me second chances. Not second chances, numerous chances. Um, I have four children. I have three sons and a daughter, which I call my princess. I was married. I'm no longer married. Um, I just feel like now I was a mother. I was a wife. I was sibling. I was a sibling uh, to my uh, sisters and brothers. Um, I'm a grandma. Now it's time for me to do something that I like. I've raised all my children. They're grown. I feel like it's time for me to do my passion. I put me on a back burner for so long. Not sounding selfish, but I did. You know, trying to raise a family and be a wife and be supportive of my spouse and my children. I was that on hand moms, you know, go to the school um, trips and PTA meetings and stuff like that. But now I feel like my children are grown. Yes, I have my grandchildren. But it's time for me to follow my dream and my passion. Like I say all the time, I don't know where this will take me. But I do have a passion for cooking and I love it. And it's not a game to me. I'm very serious about it. Like I stated in one of my videos, I said sometime I might come up here and I'm quirky and crazy. And all, and then sometime I might come up here and I'm low and I'm mellow and I'm relaxed. And I'm just focused, you know. So I just wanted to share a little bit of me with you guys. Um, I just want to tell you I'm so, again, I'm saying that word appreciative a lot because I am from the heart. I'm so appreciative for you guys coming to my page. You know, you're joining me. You're interacting with me. You're leaving comments, which I love. And, you know, it really makes me feel good that I can touch someone, you know. Um, we all need that in the world today because there's so much evilness out here and so much um, uncertainty and unsurety and just craziness going on. So why not be a light to someone? Okay, with that being said, welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. Oh, and I'm a medical assistant. I've been in the medical field ever since I graduated, ever since I graduated um, years ago, <laughs> but it's okay, you know. Um trying to do the healthy thing now my daughter got me going I mean the other night I did a video on um, chicken homemade soup we had a little technical difficulties I don't know who saw that video but we did and I'm a woman of my word me and my girlfriend was shooting a breeze okay let's leave it like that and uh, technical difficulties yeah we're gonna leave it at that so that video was taken down but anyway we're human. That's life. People go through things. You never know what goes on behind somebody's doors. Well, it's none, really none of our business. But when you share your life with someone and you putting yourself out here on the internet for people to see, you know, 
be expected to get criticized. I got my first thumbs down um, on one of my videos. I was um, talking about God trying to be a you know a motivation a motivation to someone else. Anyway, someone didn't like it, so I kind of took it offense to it. I was like, I told my son, I was like, wow, I got my first dislike. He was like, Mom, that's life. He said, everybody's not going to like because you on this bandwagon with you being, you know, you want to show your passion. Everybody not going to want to follow you or be grateful that you're finding your passion in this part in time in your life. And a lot of people don't want to accept uh, religion. You want to get somebody started. Talk about religion, politics. You know, I'm not into whatever. I'm into God because I feel like God saved me and he brought me from a mighty long way. I'm not here to be boastful, thinking I'm better than anyone else because I'm just a child of God. From dirt I came, from dirt I shall return. So who am I to judge somebody? Okay, so with all that being said, um, getting back to what I was talking about, trying to get on that journey of being healthy, you know, because I'm trying to get rid of my gut. I'm trying to get rid of, um, I have arthritis in my knees. You know, I don't mind sharing myself. I mean, come on, it is what it is. I mean, like things happen and like your body breaks down, you know, but I'm trying to, you know, uh, I was so busy running and doing for everybody else that I was neglecting me, Deborah. So it's time for me to do Deborah now. Um, so with that being said, let me get this video started. I'm going to bring everything to you because I have my ring up. And um, my phone is stationary to it. Okay, this is Shady Brook. Shady Brook Turkey, right? Ground turkey, 8515, right? We're going to make some ground turkey burgers. I have Austin Seno, Sara Lee Rose. They are so soft. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> See how soft they are? These are my burger buns. I'm going to put a little sandwich bourbon barbecue sauce in those burgers. I'm using a little mini sweet peppers. Sorry about that. I diced them up. Did you guys see the bourbon barbecue sauce? Did I bring it to you? I can't even remember if I brought it to you. Okay. All right. I'm going to put breadcrumbs in it. Italian breadcrumbs. Okay, there we go. Italian breadcrumbs. You can use any kind. Guys, I found this right here. I'm such a seasoning buff. Um, I found this beer can chicken. I don't know if you guys ever tried it, but being that it's turkey, I'm going to put some of this in it. I, I think I did two and a half tablespoons. We're going to use a little black peppercorns. Right? We're going to use a little poultry season because it is turkey. And we want to have that little Thanksgiving taste up in there. Got to give turkey. You know, turkey is kind of bland. You have to give it some seasoning. I'm going to use a little onion soup mix. Okay. I'm going to put around about a tablespoon of meatloaf seasoning. See that? Then here I have the um, breadcrumbs. I just put it in a little container. This is the Worcestershire sauce. Right here in this. This is crushed crunchy onions with red pepper flakes in a, a red sauce, right? Then we have our garlic here and some thyme to get that turkey some flavor. Then we have our red bell peppers in here diced up, different color peppers. And we have our onions here, right? So, what I'm going to do with that also, let me pick that up. We're going to have some oval cut pickles on the side. We're going to put cheddar cheese slices. Cheddar cheese slices on the burger. And what else? Oh, and on the side, I'm going to make some Mexican corn. And maybe I'll throw some uh, Fiesta chips up there for my son for their sandwich. So guys, that's what I'm going to do for you this evening. I dropped my breadcrumbs, but you know what? I have some more. So I'll just, I had the little container I had them in, so I had everything measured out. But that's okay. Techni another technical difficulty that I can sweep up, wipe up, and put it back again. Start, get me some more breadcrumbs to start over. So guys, I'm getting ready to start this. I'm going to show you with me mixing up the turkey, how all the ingredients come together, and I'll be back with you. 
Okay, guys, so your girl is back. I did have a little technical difficulties. I dropped my breadcrumbs, but, that, but that's okay. I clamped up everything, washed my hands, and I'm starting again. You mess up, you start again. Okay, so I have my turkey meat in here. I know it looks white with this light. As a matter of fact, let me try to turn this light down. Excuse me one second. Tick tock, tick tock, Miss Deb will be right back. Oh, that's not too dark. Let's see. All right. So, you got a little more color to it, right? This is the turkey. 8515. The Shady Brooks turkey. Okay, so now, I'm going to put some black pepper in it. I told you guys about it. I was going to put black pepper in it. I have my Mexican corn on the stove with butter cooking. So, guys, how was your day today? I hope everything was just fine and dandy okay now this is my recipe secret onion uh, soup mix I'm going to put like um, a tablespoon and a half of that my beer can chicken I'm going to put like it looks like I'm doing a lot but I'm going to give you guys a tablespoon okay now Poultry season, I put like a, a half a teaspoon already. I'm showing you I'm putting some more. So that'll make it a full teaspoon, right? Put the black pepper already did that, did the breadcrumbs, did that. Okay, now let's put our veggies in, guys. We have here the onions I told you about. Just put them bad boys right on over there. And guys, I don't know about you, but... I love to make different things. I don't like the same old boring food. I'm always trying new recipes. Always. Now, I'm not a good baker, but I can bake. I like to do cookies, cakes. Oh, I can do a good mean pie, though. I can do a nice sweet potato pie. But like to be like an artist of cake making, I'm not. that's not me. But I do like to make uh, cakes, and I like to cook uh, desserts for my family. So that was onions. Now we're adding the we added the tricolor peppers. Now we're doing the garlic and the thyme, right? Now I'm sorry about that scraping, guys. Now here goes the crunchy onion and chili. Red pepper flakes and the red sauce. The sauce doesn't have any flavor so much, so it's just that the um the oil, right? Let me put this in the sink. Okay, let me turn my coin down, all the way down. Okay, now, we have all the ingredients in here. Just going to mix this together. Oh my God, it smells so good. You probably said, Miss Deborah, you always saying that. Yeah, because it always smells good. And this is like, um, I swear it smells almost like Thanksgiving up in here. With that time and the poultry season and the... Um, beer can chicken I always have different flavors I don't know if I ever showed you guys my covers with my flavors oh my god I have so many different seasonings it's, it's just crazy nope I know what you're thinking no sasson up in this piece today nope we're not doing sasson today probably like oh Miss Deb that's how her food be coming out good she's using the MSG <laughs> nope Miss Deb can cook. I don't got to always have no sasson now. I just like the way it turns your food color. color. I hate to see bland looking food. I really do. Guys, if you watch this video tonight, let me know what's your favorite meal you like to cook or what's your favorite meal you like to eat. Oh, this smells so good, guys. I am not lying. I swear. Oh, and I put a tablespoon of meatloaf seasoning in here. I wish I could taste it. This, no, I'm just playing. I know it. Um, it's flavored because I can smell it. I can smell it, guys. Let's see here. Now, we're going to put our bourbon barbecue sauce, in, uh, sandwich sauce in here. I'm going to use a good... And you know what, guys? This is almost like a binder, too. I use, I would say, a good... Three tablespoons. Okay, now the hands come in. Yep, the hands are coming in. Sometimes you got to get down and dirty with your food. You got to show them who the boss is. 
I'm making you turkey burgers. You ain't making me. <laughs> crazy, right? Uh, you got to be a little crazy in your life sometimes. Stop taking everything so serious. Okay, wow, this smells good, guys. Okay, now I'm going to start making my burgers. You're not making them real fat. You're not making them... We're patting them bad boys out. Okay. And they're going... I'm popping them right in the toaster oven. I'm going to put three in at a time. I was wearing my rings one time. I was like, I don't mean to be telling y'all all my business, but that's what you up here for to see what's going on. Um, I used to wear my rings. I was like, wait a minute, why am I wearing my rings? Next! <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. All right, here we go. See those guys? It's a little over a palm, right? Well, that's how I'm making mine. Okay, so you know what? Let's put four in here. Let's put four in there. Get them bad boys on and cooking. I was coming down with a cold the other day. And then I said, not so. Devil, you a liar. I'm not trying to be laid back on my back. Except in the fact that I was catching a cold on my body was coming down. You know, with uh, my immune system was acting a certain type of way. Wash, scrub it off, get up, keep it moving. Here we go, guys. Going in the toaster oven. I'll let you know how long it takes those to cook. Okay, I'll be right back to you. I'm going to make some more burgers, make up some more patties, and I'll be back. Hey, guys, I'm back. So I just wanted to tell you guys, I was doing my rolls. I'm getting a little crust on them because you don't want to put a nice hot burger on a uh, soft bun. So, I sprayed a little olive oil, I'm sorry, a little olive oil in my pan, right? And then I put my rolls in here. See, just getting a coating on them, see? Well, these are some that I did already. What did I do with them right here? Just getting a little coating on them, okay? All right, so my burgers are still in the toaster oven. I have some over here uh, frying with a little olive oil because I don't want to put grease in them. And then, you know what made it bind together? When I put that bourbon barbecue sandwich sauce on it and the breadcrumbs, it gave it like a binding so I didn't have to use egg or um, milk or anything, right? So I'll be back. Okay, guys, so your girl is back. Miss Deb is finished her meal for this Thursday night. I want you guys to see what I made. I'm so proud of myself. I give honor to God because I can't stop worshiping him. Because he set my heart free and he gave his life for me. So I will forever be indebted for him. Even if my life doesn't get any better, I'm going to continue to worship him. Because look how much he's done for me. He brought me from a mighty long way. He saved my life on numerous occasions. And I mean, I have been at near death experiences excuse me i have been so within death and so many times in my life i can't help but praise him i can't help but acknowledge his love for me so it makes me want to have love for him okay let me show you what i did okay let me i'm doing this by myself tonight so hold on okay guys this is a couple of more burgers I have left. I used some, um, this was some uh, jalapeno cheddar cheese. Then I had regular cheddar cheese. And then I had, because uh, um, all my family like different types of cheeses. And this was um, Borden's American cheese, right? Okay, so this is the plate that I made. Yeah, we had the um, Fiesta chips here. We have the Mexican corn right here. We have the burger here. Now I'm going to put some uh, some of that sauce on it. I used ketchup and I mixed it with the bourbon sauce. So I'm going to show you guys. I put my pickles on it because that's how I like mine. 
Look at that. Drop, baby. Come on and drop. Let it drop it like it's hot. <laughs> Let me stop. See? Wow. Okay. That's my turkey burger. Can you guys see that? I want to drop it. There we go. That's the plate, right? And this right here, let me take this off. Bear with me, guys. I know my hands are in the way. Okay, guys. This is the platter that I made. Hold on. Guys, this is the platter that I made. You see it? I have my burgers going all around the platter. And I have my pickles right here. And I have that sauce I made, the bourbon sauce with ketchup. Do that looks delicious, guys. And I just topped it with a little mayonnaise and a little mustard. Whoever that is, come on in. And that's it, guys. And these are just some extra burgers. My family is about to come up and eat. This is my burger platter. With the Fiesta chips, pickles, and the bourbon uh, ketchup sauce. And this is the plate. Guys, I hope you enjoyed your time with me. I am so done and I'm finished cooking. You guys have a blessed evening. And I pray that you get, you fix whatever you want to fix tonight or you let someone cater to you. Have a beautiful evening. Thanks for sharing this time with Miss Debs and Deborah's Delicious Dishes. Have a good one, guys. Bye.